And we are back. Let's get the Slapwacker on the orange necklace. <laughs> and head out the door. Citrus aftertaste. Mm. <laughs> what did the white one taste like? Those queer gummy bears. Attaboy. Oh, how boring. Coconut? Oh, I got hope. I forbid. I hate, I hate coconut. Herb. Time to smoke. Shit! I hate coconut flavored things, but I like coconut. I just don't like coconut in general. Anyway, the poison gas here saps your health. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted the full health before I did this. Sorry. And now you're out. That was fast. I didn't even take, take half of your health. It took like a quarter. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! Oh, great. He's going following Kratos' footsteps. <laughs> or is it Kratos to follow his? Yeah. No, it would be it would be Jubei following his. Chronologically, yes. In what game or actual time? Well, in time, yes. But in terms of game, Ani Two came first. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. So Ani Two was two thousand and two. Somewhere in the ocean, in the middle of fucking nowhere, <laughs> lies one island out of a million, wrapped in a dense fog. So it's more like one in a hundred thousand. This is known as the sacred place of the Oni Clan. There, a floating castle resides where the Oni Clan once thrived. Trust me, this is not fan fiction, nor is this a fairy tale. One day, the demons fearing the relationship between the Oni clan and the Yagyu clan will begin too strong, and they, hence they attack the Oni clan. The Yagyu, they'll get there some other day. <laughs> One day, a young swordsman of the demons and three evil soldiers ventured into the sacred place and destroyed all of them. F a whole clan of Oni taken out by four people. Well, I guess one of them was uh, Gogan Dantis. I guess that would make sense. After that, the demons have made use of the sacred place by remodeling the inside of the island. Nowadays, it's a demon fortress. Guess where you're going next? <laughs> so the swords, the demon swordsmen, the three soldiers, Gogan Dantes, and three mooks. Most likely. Gogan Dantes ended up doing all the work. Gogan Dantes did all the work. The other three just played poker. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. Ooh. Booyah! Ah, yes. The armor is now maxed out. Yep, three levels of maximum. Don't like that purple trim, though. Eh. It does look a little tacky. <laughs> You're tacky. <laughs> anyway, let's have another save of the game here, because I think we're about to go blow Elliot's mind one more time. How's that phone, by the way? I'm actually going to search something. It's related. Alright. Jesus. Now, let's see what we do with the honesty orb. What the fuck? Ancient Japanese jet boat power. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Ancient Japanese jet boat barracuda. Ooh, oh yeah, barracuda. What kind of shit is this? Ow! <laughs> if YouTube didn't do any copyright shit, then we could just replace the music with that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's your jet boat barracuda, Elliot. God, weren't you in Je weren't you in history class? Ancient Japanese technology, Elliot. Yeah, shit. And where'd it go? Who cares? Who cares? It's done. <laughs> huh? Is that somebody coming up with me as well? Who's that? I forgot oh. about him. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> this battle's actually pretty rough. Hello again! Your eyes betray you. Huh? What? Your eyes reveal that you are thrilled to encounter a man who is stronger than you. More afraid. I was I would honestly like this more if Jubei ever emoted anything. Yeah. yeah. Cause this would have made more sense for Gogadontas to say it. Instead he just sounds like a goofball. The greatest swordsman of all demons. So you say. Uh Jesus. He's just one of the joke characters, isn't he? No, he's actually pretty fucking lethal. Especially yeah, around three, we have to actually yeah, No, but I'm talking about, like, character. Now he throws shit. Well, I'm talking about character-wise. Oh. By the way, now he throws shit, so, uh, watch that. Did I hit him? Oh, it looks like it did. You hit him once. I didn't hear a sword clang. There you go. That's that sword clang, I remember. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the throwing items are there to disrupt your charge attacks. Uh. Right the pelvis, fucker. Up. 
<laughs> Take off that cape. It's very tacky on you. The greatest swordsman of all demons. Not a very good judo fighter, though. No. You have a little bit of red on, on your bottom jaw. Where? <laughs> oh! Ooh, that was close. Fucker. What's the music playing? Was, I don't know, it's a pretty good track, though. Let's go Gondonis' theme. I do like the ocean right there. The pre-rendered ocean. Yeah. Like, one thing I could really give Onimusha credit for is it's pre-rendered. It, it looks really nice. You know, like... you know what, though? I think it might look better in a CRT. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because when you're in HD, the, gra the 3D models sort of pop out. Yeah. I think Ninja Gaiden does the same thing, though, with um, pre-rendered graphics. Yeah. Well, I know, I wouldn't know. I, I never played the only, the only one I really played was Dragon Sword on the DS. Do the backgrounds move with you when you move? Because if they do, that's not pre-rendered. No, they don't. Uh, okay, then it's probably pre-rendered. Like, I'll have to see it again. I still have it. Animusha 3 drops pre it completely. It goes full 3D. Anyway, haven't had my ass practically beaten in half here by Gogan Dantas. The battle ends. Are you giving up? We I kind of have to. Getting started. I have no choice. Shube. Keep back. How'd you get here? Uh, what? My lady. How shameful to be saved by her twice. Well... I, guess you I would like to it. note out so that that's not that's exactly anti-feminist or anti against women, but really that was just the attitude they had in Tootle Japan at the time. But maybe we well, can no, I would just, no, just I wouldn't say, no, I would no, no, I, I'm, I know that. I was just saying that I wouldn't so much classify that as so much of the game makers' viewpoints, more as Gogan Dante's viewpoints. Gogan Dante's as well as Walter Macaulay. It was just the me mentality of Tootle Japan at the time. <laughs> that thing had a bird in the front of it. it did. Like some sort of the rainbow. ancient. By the way, we've only spent an hour. <laughs> yeah, it was some sort of ancient Japanese penguin mobile. <laughs> <laughs> I have a white necklace, you know. And Jubei still can't crack a real smile. <laughs> it's done. It is. What'd you do? Keep still. I looked at well, it. Well, I go and explore this island. Oh. I have to do something before Odani Castle falls. Mew. You don't have to do this alone. Don't worry. I'll be fine. The first of our player character side quests. Oh, yo! <laughs> yo! <laughs> she has to explore the demon realm first and find something... Find some shit to do, then go back and find Jubei. Meanwhile, blue souls. Nope. I would say blue cherry blossoms, but uh, I kind of want to say blueberry blossoms. I was actually gonna. Say How is that. she still around here? Wasn't her? Didn't I eat her soul? No. Okay. How can this be? You're asking that now. Feudal Japan, honey, run with it. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> Can you say that like you mean it? <laughs> By the way, you know how long it's been since I've ever played Onimusha 2 and watched the cutscenes? <laughs> no. Can I take an estimate of 10 years? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it turns out to be an Oscar Mayer weenie whistle. <laughs> a kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> Secret weapon time. <laughs> slide whistle. Yeah, slide whistle. Slide whistle. It's our harmonica. <laughs> Dig a my potato. <laughs> been a while since I used a, harmon a harmonica. Now, the, each of the four characters here gain bracelets, which is basically a game way... A gameplay method of allowing you to absorb souls without being, you know, Jubei. May also notice something else, too. My health is kind of low. Yeah. <laughs> well, clearly. I like how you seem here. Pretty brave and daring. Yeah, so, uh, as Matt said, the bracelet items allow your other characters to absorb souls, and I believe when you're finished with the character, you give those souls to Jubei. Yep. Huh. Oh, dear. 
So what's going on with OU? Why don't you get some strategies down for her? Charge attack and then swing with the sword. Particularly with the uh, harder monsters. Whenever she, instead of like, she ha does have a magic attack. I will show off later. Just not against this asshole because he's got it coming. Charge attack, uh, or she has the basic SWAT, the um. She has a SWAT, two uppercuts, and then a four sword combo. She defends with a shield, interestingly enough. She's also into Western sword play, for what it's worth. Uh, what should we call it? She also throws daggers. I forget how to do that. Okay, L2. L2 throws your dagger, which can automatically stun an enemy. Yeah. She also has a really sweet magic move, which I love. It's pretty much a more uh, better suited Kaede. Not as nimble, but uh, how does she dodge? She just she dodges like Jubei, though. Pretty much. She doesn't have backflips or anything like that. No. Basically, if you press triangle and hold down the... Uh, if you press triangle, she blesses her sword with golden magic, and for a short while, any enemy you whack with the sword, she ends up getting souls right out of it. Oh, bad breath. <laughs> when was the last time you brushed your teeth? Five 800 weeks ago? Years. Oh. That was a nice... So if you ever find yourself, like, getting hurt really badly... You're gonna have to be able to um, use your magic and then just like steal souls that way. Keep play, keep play, keep play. Where does that go? It goes right here. Oh, now I know where it is. Oops. Both doors are locked as I use the key plate here. Ready. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready to use this oh, key plate. Oh, sword. Guide me to g guide this key plate into the little <laughs> battle here. <laughs> Now with the key plate in there, we, our doors are unlocked. Yeah, a little little dragon head looks familiar. Hmm. But oh, you can't do anything with it. Exactly. Yeah. So until then, we just rummage through. Meanwhile, ooh, ooh, is, that, is that magazine? Yeah. Demon's quarterly. <laughs> <laughs> the Demon Weekly. Exactly. That's just lift instructions. I thought you said. I thought I said life. Because now Tokichiro, we might remember him as the pedophile from the first game. Created a lift system here, which can't work because there's no wind. And since so you can't just reach up into the uh, wind vent and blow into it, she can't do anything here. By the way, there are things that can blow up here every now and again, so don't worry about it too much. What we can do, however, is come here and grab this. A magic liquid. Magic liquid? Yeah, it's the purple stuff. Oh. <laughs> Ninjas! Insert Vega sounds here. <laughs> That's our Vega theme there. Huh? Come on, come on, come on. Chop. Die. Okay. She's good. also pretty quick with the downward stab too, which I love. At least there's no ass shot. Yeah, right. By the way, this is also the most badass segment you get of OU. After this, she get, delegates herself to being a damsel, which sucks. Uh, yeah, I think we may have commented on it earlier, but it was a bit uh, off-putting how she seemed pretty independent. And she is, uh, selectively. <laughs> does she also have the... Uh... She does not have the armor, by the way, so uh, be careful with that. Like, she doesn't have the necklaces that you get from the quest either. Yeah. So you can't stand still and regenerate. Ow. No. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, does that give you invincibility frames? I guess so. It does seem like it. <laughs> so when you find yourself on a pinch, uh, bless your sword. <laughs> <laughs> I think these things are like some of the worst in her segment, though. Ow! With the um, deep warriors? Yeah. Is that an acid path? That's an acid path. Can someone, can you, can you throw no, a No, you cannot. Got my hopes up for nothing. I did that a lot earlier, I'm so sorry. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> this ain't good. Oh man, I think we got something going here. Never mind, one alarm. The boots oh. also give you kick level 2 as well, so... There's a chest. I missed it. Yes, you did. Alright, Elliot, I'll go back and get it. There's also something on the shelf. Now I have to kill them all again. 
It's your fault. Are you happy now? I am. <laughs> now we just got a map. It would. Eh, there's something sparkling over there. Oh! Something shiny. Is that something you can examine on the shelf? Are you? Yeah, that's it. With the banana looking thing? Yeah, it's something you get. Oh, my pelvis. I clearly ended at your chest. <laughs> um, uh, they're not very bright, Demon Warriors. Only super weapon. Was it the Mega Buster? No. <laughs> Fitting, but no. The chief of the Yagyu clan, who had been descended from the Oni clan, tried hard to maintain control of the demons, and that didn't work because he paid the minimum wage. <laughs> the Oni clan used their entire resources to create the Oni turtle in the Sacred Palace. Although the demons attacked and destroyed, destroyed the Oni clan, the Oni Genbu itself is safe. Guess what you're going to find? The Oni Genbu. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, did you say Oni turtle? Oni turtle. Uh, Genbu is the four, one of the four sacred beasts. Genbu is basically the turtle of the four. Oh, okay. I feel like I completely shit on Chinese uh, religion and tradition there with that. Good to know. You think you mute the laptop by right now? <laughs> <laughs> I hit triangle button. I hit my triangle button. I'll hit your triangle button. Ew, well, yeah, I never thought you were into that. No, seriously, you have a second controller, I'll hit it. <laughs> I think this game could have actually benefited with a little multiplayer. I would agree. Which, by the way, you killed Blade, so... I ain't been killing Blade all day, dude. No, you killed Blade, one of the other aids. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, threw me off because that was one syllable. <laughs> Nothing's impossible when you have aids. Except living. Living's kind of hard. No, AIDS. This is Michael and Jack. Oh, God. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a South Park reference. Okay, when is everything not a South Park reference with you, Elliot? When it's not about South Park. <laughs> I don't know. There's, I think there's a puzzle here. I just don't know what it is. I think you just gotta slot, swap the fish. Or just break all the holes. Ah, <laughs> fuck! Are you happy now, bitch? You wanna believe it? Not the safest of disco floors. It's not. It's not even a disco floor. Yes, it is. I know, because you keep fucking it up. Team at Disco Party. All you need, is, all you need to do is put fluorescent lights on the bottom of them. And there you go. Alright, just knock out all the fish. They won't break every single tile, so you're safe. Which is, that kind of be dickish. That would be royally dickish. Oh shit. Oh, he's like, SOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
fog bridge. Yeah, that's... Yeah, This thanks. is kind of like a really nice looking gate to hell. Be careful, no, there well, are some bridge. demons here. It, it's more of a bridge to hell. Hi there. Oh, look at Shade. Interestingly enough, for some reason I have a harder time easing the uh, reptiles than I have a right to have. Well, well easings aren't really your priority anyway. Right. So. I just need to beat the fuck out of the things. <laughs> Next one should have one of those little pole dudes. You weren't threatening then, you're not now. Fuck! Shut the fuck up. I have failed Nobunaga. He you said I was special. Special like everybody else. Here's where the uh, ninjas come up. How much is left? In terms of monsters? They can come all they want. I'll slay every no, last one of them. segments. Bridge? Uh, I think there's like five total. How many segments in bridge? <laughs> <laughs> How do you bridge indeed? <laughs> do you even bridge? I don't know. We're gonna oh, find four. out. Wait, you should open that first. I will, because it's a gladi the gradius. Oh, Jesus. That's another uh, preference, I think. But, it's all, but Gradius has also long been used as a dagger, too, so... But this is Capcom. Well, no, it'd be more of a reference if it was... Well, no, because the Gradius isn't a type of sword. Right. You can also find a Gradius in Symphony of the Night. Huh. It was, anyway, I think it's mistranslated as Gladius there. We're gonna save here, because here comes a real nasty part. You, f you found the light. Yeah, and I found the and I found hell with it. Very bright. You, yeah. the red demon. Oh no! First oh. it's first it's uh green, and the greens ain't nothing. They really look. He's them. nasty. Yeah. Oh, crimson. Watch head. this fucker. Oh, it's a crimson head. His attacks are unblockable, and he can chain and he can stun lock you, and he's got an enormous range. Yeah, he's. Uh, However, charge attacks work well on him. Like I said, he's a crimson head. Red. No, they just really. No, you tries her luck. I'm just, I'm just calling them crimson heads because it's a Capcom thing. Okay. They're technically named Baru Bazus. I call them red ogres. Yeah, I call them red ogres as well. Anyway, you just want what you're gonna want to do is your charge attacks here to save your to save your bacon. Back up, charge attack, let them out, nice. and that's how you take them out easily. They do throw three of those at you at the same time in Ogre Tower. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> and now we have the sacred flute, and that technically does wrap up Oe's quest. So now let's go all the way back out to Jubei.